Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going into school today. We are, it is a Sunday, but we are at the end of week two of term three. So I'm going into school today to do a room transformation for our next topic theme thingy, which is construction and transport. So I've just finished at Bunnings. I've bought some safety cones, which I got for $2. And luckily I said to the guy, I was like, oh, they're $2 on the um, tag. And he was like, you are so lucky you just bought those because I'm about to go rip that tag off. They're actually $6. I was like, oh, thank God. So. I got them for $2, I got some caution tape, I went and bought some diggers from Kmart, like little mini trucks, um, and what else have I got? Mm, I got some books and a couple of other bits and pieces, and I'm heading down to school to transform my room ready for construction theme. Super excited that I take you along for the journey, so I've got to drive now from Bunnings to my school, which takes about nearly 40 minutes, and then we will transform the classroom, and I'll check in when I Okay, so I made it to school. I'm just gonna quickly have some food. Oh, I look so white in this video. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I'm going to have some food and then I'm gonna start my little transformation. So I'm gonna set up everything, tidy up, take down like the tinsel and things up here that you can see. Um, and I've gotta bring a heap of stuff in from the car and then, um, yeah give it a big tidy up, change everything over. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be super fun. Okay, so I've just brought everything in from the car and I thought I would just go through and show you everything that I have before I actually start to put it up so you can, little sneak peek, little idea of where I'm going. So I have brought in these <laughs> giant pool noodles. They're actually not for construction week, but I'm really excited about what I'm doing with these. So I will show you that a bit later. I also, oh, they were like $2 at Target. Um, then I have heaps of stuff. I'll bring over closer. Okay, so I have red and white tape and caution tape. And I'm thinking I will start by over there. There was like blue kind of string, uh, streamer kind of doorway thing. So I thought I would replace that with caution tape and red and white tape. And then put the red and white tape in a, uh, sorry, the caution tape in a few other places. I also got these safety cones. Now, I don't know if anyone knows this, but safety cones are actually quite expensive. And I went to Bunnings before and I was like, I'll just have a look at what they have. And most of the safety cones were like, at least seven or eight dollars some were 11 some were like 15 dollars. i was like i'm not buying those and then these had a two dollar sticker on them and i was like to the guy are these really two dollars and he's like yeah i guess so that's what the sign says and then the same guy was the guy at the register and i scanned he scanned it and he's like oh that'll be like 45 dollars for this and the caution tape and i was like whoa hang on a minute and i was like i thought you said these were two dollars he's like oh they're not coming up as two dollars but because they were on the shelf as two dollars i have to sell them to you for that so you're so lucky because i'm about to go and rip that tag off so i got six of these for two dollars and they're like pretty big so i'm stoked about that two dollars each i got each of the kids a hard hat from amazon i also have got we're doing construction and transport so I got some Lego. This Lego is like a cute like digger kind of thing. And then I bought some of these for sensory play. These were $5 at Kmart, these packs. And this was $10 at Kmart, I think. And then I also got this book because it's super cute. It's going to one of the stations. I also picked up Who Sank the Boat, good old classic, because I'm going to do a transport one where we do a bit of a STEM um, session around boats and how we can make our boats float. So I've got that, and then I also have this transport puzzle. This was a dollar from Kmart, I love that for us. And then I have all these cute little like um, construction things from the party shop, which I did show in my previous um, classroom setup video. Got the bricks and a few other things like that. So I've got those, and then I have these thingies that I'll hang from the string up there but I just won't use the one that says party zone we'll just use all the other ones so I've got a couple of those I also have these super fun um 
tablecloths that are like roads and construction and everything so i grabbed a couple of those and then lastly well finally i should say i have the um photo booth kit which i think will be a super fun rotation getting the kids to like take selfies and put them on their seesaw with their construction um uh like props so i also have just interviewed in introduced whoa introduced uh flexible seating in my classroom so i'm going to like really build that into this week's learning and for the first time tomorrow my children my students are going to experience um like choice workshops so instead of me going okay you're going here now rotating 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 we're trying where they choose so for the next three days monday tuesday wednesday i'm going to have like 10 activities up out there um, and across the three days they can change it up and choose which activities they do they can only do the activities once and a lot of the activities come with some sort of response so they have to show me that they completed the activity properly and then some of the others are like um, sensory play with the with the diggers and things like that and um, the expectation will be that they have done some of the other ones in three days but I'm trying to be as flexible as possible so I'm ta they're taking ownership over their learning um, and during that time um, we'll pull them out for small workshops um, on their literacy skills. So I'm reading and decodables and sentences and all of that. So we're trialing this with our flexible seating and our flexible learning. And I'm so excited about it. I'm really, really keen. And I think the construction theme is going to be a great way to get it started. So I'm going to fully set that up today for the next three days as well as redecorate the classroom so you're in for a treat because i think it's going to be a super good um couple of hours getting this ready but i really want to go quick so hopefully i don't take too long to do it so i'm gonna start by taking the tinsel down and the um blue snowflakes down um and take all that writing down that's up there and i'm gonna start to put some of these things up and then i'm going to hang the caution tape from the door and then i'm going to rearrange the classroom um because i want to change the tables and get all the flexible seating happening and then start to put out tomorrow's activities So happy with how it looks so far. So I've got our little, our little danglies along here. You can sort of see them there, like all the way across. And I think I'm gonna put some caution tape up on the string as well, like up on the pegs. And then I love this so much that so when they come in, they will walk through here as so well. I open up the door. So they walk in through that which is so cool and then I'll come in and I'll put some caution tape up on the um, pegs up there and a few more decorations I'm so happy with how it's looking so far and I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna add on the um, caution tape up onto the string and then start to put some of the other stuff out but I really need to move the table so I know where I'm putting everything I saw this like cool thing on Instagram I think it was like cardio drumming and it's like a YouTube videos and you drum on your table and then you do star drums and all this stuff like a brain break so I bought the pool noodles and cut them down hey okay 
so I just thought I'd update you on where I'm at. I had a little bit of time off camera so I could charge my camera battery. But I have moved all the tables, so I've popped them into pods of four. So four, 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 and four, so five tables. Um, and basically I've done that so that I can put all my little stations out for them to um, work on. So I've just started to put some of the activities out. So I've just got this activity here from Top Teacher, which is the Tinker Belt, uh, Tinker Belt uh, Tool Belt activity. So it's a nonsense word and a real, uh, real word and nonsense word activity. So they read the word and this one is big and then they slip it in like this is split open. The tool belt was split open. So they slip it in like that, um, and that gives them their um, real word. And then if it was a nonsense word, they would put it in the other side. So I've just set up that station, and that will be available for four people only. So one of the expectations through the choosing um, the ch the fact that they can choose their activities is that they understand how many people can be at a station and if there's too many people at that station they might need to come back to that one later on which will help with um, managing the you know sensory activities and things like that where the kids will want to be part of the sand and the you know mess making things so I um, yeah we'll only have a certain amount of people at each station the next station I set up is this roll cover and write activity from Miss Learning Bee sorry about the glare so I've just put out CBC words for now and I've actually laminated them double-sided um, so just to get them going with individual activities I didn't want to make them too hard however I do have all of the differentiated ones printed so next time I would have um, I would have like the um, harder words out as well for the kids who might need more of a challenge so basically they roll the dice and then they pick a picture from that column they pop a counter on it and before they do they write the word they have a go at sounding it out on their whiteboards and then um, they can take a photo of that or come and show me so I can say yep I can see that you have a really good go at writing the um, the words down and they'll have a few goes at that before moving on to the next station so my next thing is I've got the, um, I've unpacked all these cute little mini Tonka trucks. So basically I'm thinking I'll use these for sensory play. So I need to set those up. I also am going to set up the Lego station. So I've got like four different Legos and I'm actually going to leave them with the instructions. So sometimes obviously I'll put Lego out and get them to be creative um, themselves and come up with something. And then other times it's really good for them to follow the instruction booklet and, um, you know, find the right pieces and put them all together. So I'm actually going to have them do that this week. So I'm going to set that station up and then I'm going to use some of my, um, um, cones and things to kind of make the classroom look a little bit more exciting um, and yeah hopefully I can get out of here soon so I'll set you up so that you can have a look at what I'm up to and keep you updated throughout okay so since um, I last checked in I've popped the iPads out down here on this little table for um, boom cards boom cards are awesome and I found a um construction boom cards on diagraphs and we've been really focusing on those so i thought that would be good i've also put the lego boxes out so i've got four lego sets here we've got the three in ones that make like i've got the shark and crab um and anglo anglo fish and then on the this little one it's a dinosaur one and then on this one, we've got that little one that I showed before. So there's four options there for Lego. On my whiteboard table, I saw this online. I can't remember right now who I saw it on, but I really loved the idea. So basically, I've just put out a bunch of little transport. Um, see if that focuses. Little counters. So I've got trains and boats, buses, cars, planes. And then I've just put whiteboard markers out. And um, whoever I saw it on their Instagram, it was so cool. Like kids just, they drew runways and they made like um, oceans for the boats to swim, uh, sail on or whatever. So I just have kind of put that all out and I'm just letting that be kind of free. Fingers crossed it goes well. So now I just need to work out what sort of sensory tub I want to do with these little trucks. I'm thinking um, either like sand focus there we go thinking either sand or like black like beans of some sort I'm not really sure so they can like scoop and everything I'm not really sure and then I also just need to work out how I want to use my safety cones 
um, whether I want to put them on the tables and make those kind of the where it says how many people can work at that table or how I'm going to use those. So I've got one, two, three, four, five activities out plus the sensory one plus I've also got another diagraphs sort kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use it yet, but we will see. Stay tuned. And then I really need to get out of here. I've been here a long time and I really didn't want to be here this long. So I'm going to do some printing, try and set up the sensory stuff and then go from there. I ended up just sticking some of those cute little graphics on the side of the TV and I think it looks super cute so I'm going to leave it like that. A couple of there and a couple on the other side. I popped the cones out on each of the tables just for a bit of decoration. I put the digger sensory stuff here. So at the moment I've just got kind of some gross sand from it on the playground but I might try and replace that with something better. Um, and then some rocks and the diggers in there and then up here on the bench I've got a puzzle for them to work through which is the transport puzzle that I showed you before that I got from Kmart for a dollar got a love Kmart um so yeah I feel like I'm nearly done I'm gonna put this book here with with these kind of thinking like that with a little table there it's a bit dark but you kind of get the vibe and then I think I finished I'm gonna print something off that will go as the station on that corner table there because that currently has nothing on it and then a little bit of tidying up and I'm finished I'm so excited okay I'm finished I'm so excited I've pretty much got everything ready I'm just taking one thing home to sort of cut up um, and laminate a couple of pieces just for the last activity but I'm all ready for tomorrow. I cannot wait for the kids to see it. I've got their hard hats ready to give them in the morning. Um, we'll do a quick transport activity when they first get here, get stuck into these literacy activities, um, and then go from there. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'll quickly do you a very quick tour before I finish, but thank you for coming along on this kind of like mini vlog. I've still got some other ideas um, for later in the week. I've still got some resources sort of stashed away with the hope that I'll get to use them later in the week but we are celebrating 100 days of school this week tree planting day and construction our first week of construction so we'll do construction and transport for two weeks so I've sort of saved a few activities for the second week um and yeah I'm so excited I'll take you on a little tour before I go but thanks for coming along bye